this is a very simple code. It is actually the the immediate code you get when you start a new Android application. Well, here you can find the line set content view and what is passed over is r.layout.main. Well, if you check the R class, the auto-generated class, you will find a, a static inner class, its name is layout, and within that class you will find a variable main. We get this variable because we have a main.xml file within the layout folder. And this is the main.xml file you get when you start a new Android application. Well, if you want to add new XML files that describe other layouts, it's not a problem. Just select new other and select that you want to add a new Android XML file and then you can select what exactly you want, uh, what XML file do you want to add. I want to add a, a layout XML file. I give a name, my other main.xml file and then press finish and voila we get another file my other main.xml uh, which is just like main.xml uh, an xml file that describes the layout of the application well in this code sample uh, we still use the main.xml the default one the one that is automatically created for us and when you call the set content view method, you actually say, um, well, I want a specific view to be the view of this activity. Uh, you say that by passing over an ID, uh, which is the ID of a specific layout resource the application includes. It can be main, it can be uh, something else, um, like my other main, it is possible as well. well once you complete all that, you can um, execute the application and you get uh, this outcome. If you want uh, the layout to be something else, not a problem, uh, just select uh, the other options. My other main, yes, my other main is another uh, static int variable within the layout static inner class within R, and you can make some changes if you want, it's not a problem, just go to the visual editor or to the text editor, uh, both uh, options are available and select uh, the exact GUI component you want to add, uh, let's say I want to add an analog clock, um, and now if I save, uh, the outcome would be that executing this specific code, uh, the outcome would be something different. It would be a spell activity with the analog clock widget on screen. Well, it takes a bit time to install. You can track what happens over here and then it starts that uh, activity. Well, in a second we shall see the new um, Okay, this is the new uh, layout I have just created. Yes, this is how it works.